Hey everyone, Jeff again, Elite Sports Shooting. Great to be back. It's great to see you guys again. I wanted to just do a quick video, just a just a, a quick shout out to two products that I use. I know I mention them a lot on on pretty much every video, and that is the Googaloosa and the Jalisi Gun Socks. The Googaloosa Gun Sock is great for my stick guns and what I mean by a stick gun would be a straight gun like my shotgun here this is the Rite Gordian it's pretty straight it almost looks brand spanking new I've got probably about 2,000 rounds through it and it's because I always put uh, uh, gun socks on them inside my gun cabinet. I have probably close to 30 guns, 28 guns in my gun cabinet and it was built for 40 but it's pretty tight in there. So I, uh, I have some smaller ones for handguns. So here's my here's my handgun and I do have a gun sock for it. I usually put an action lock on it but I wanted you to have a look I also did a little step further I, I ordered some Jaleesi gun socks and I get them all off Amazon I get them for about roughly about eight dollars a piece so in here is my Beretta A400 and I wanted to show I wanted to make sure that my a400 never got scratched so I do have a, uh, a larger uh, gun case but here with the the A400 you can see I've got a Jaleesi gun sock on the barrel and on the main portion of the gun itself where you break it down so I'll just set that down so it usually comes about 52 inches long. I had it cut down. I was able to make another handgun sock. So I'm using as much as possible. And then I have a Jaleesi gun sock and it's nice and black and I was trying to color coordinate them. But uh, if, uh, if you can remember, if, uh, if you've watched my videos, the the journey that I started taking with the Googaloosa and the Jaleesi gun socks started with my A400. I did scratch my A400. I was very upset when that happened. It's a $2,700 gun here in Canada. And you know, this is a huge... It's It costs a lot of money. And that's nothing to be... Uh, nothing to be uh, taken lightly when you invest that kind of money into your guns they're investments we don't want our investments taken away and we don't want our investments damaged in any way shape or form so as you can see they're on every one of my shotguns I got a couple out here that I'm cleaning but the main difference between the, the Googaloosa and the Jaleesi is the elasticity. So this is a Googaloosa. It's, it's, it's fairly, it's got a fair amount of stretch to it. But the Jaleesi has got way more stretch. So I, this isn't the exact one that I put on my Raven Lockhart Tactical it does go on here I have to play with it a little bit make sure I keep my finger off the trigger and pull her right over top now it takes a little bit I know I'm making this look a little awkward but I gotta hold this up for the camera looks a little on the awkward side but you know what me it doesn't matter I'm protecting my my firearms so 
that's it for me. I wanted to just share this with everybody. I did in the past say that my Jaleesi will actually stretch over top of my my uh, my tactical rifle and it does. I just showed you here. The Jaleesi gun socks have a little bit more elasticity to them. But when I got stuff rubbing and compacting my gun safe, the Gugaluza is actually really is, is a lot better for my uh, for my for my stick guns. So this uh, this is one of the Jaleesis. I love the color on this, and it uh, it looks really nice with a wood stock. So I do like some of the colors. I do, you know, I try to color coordinate whenever I can, but uh, unfortunately. You got to take whatever comes in the pack. That's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like the content of the video, give me one of those thumbs up because I do really appreciate it. I do try to get back to everybody who leaves a comment on my, on, on my channel. And I will put a link in the description for both the Jaleesi and the Googaloos, the gun socks. And if you have any questions or comments, I appreciate it. All right, that's it. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. And always remember to keep both eyes on your target. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.